Uh, good day, it's John Shumade from Agape Love Tension Ministry. Our weekly broadcast. We welcome you again, listeners. Thank you for being there and for supporting. And I suggest that, guys, subscribe, 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 subscribe. We need more subscription. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Anyway, we move on to today's topic. We are working on the armor of God. Today's topic is called armed with the sword of the spirit. Are you armed with the sword of the spirit? You know there's a power in the name of Jesus. There's a power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. To break every shame, to break every shame, every shame, to break every shame, to break every shame. Yeah. There's an army rising up, and you are the army. There's an army rising up. You are the army as you take on the sword of the spirit. There's an army rising up, and you are the army as you take on the sword of the spirit to break every chain, to break every chain, every chain that I've ever tied you and I. We command it broken today in the name of Jesus. Every chain is broken. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, we are going to use the power in the name of Jesus. And you hang with the sword of the Spirit. You break every chain that comes your way. We declare so. So let's go to the Word of God. Ephesians 6, verse 17 b he said take the element of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god in other fashion says put on salvation as the, your element and take the sword of the spirit which is the word of god both saying the same thing it's all about taking all the sword of the spirit we say there's power in the name of jesus there's an army rising up. You are the army. And we are asking you now uh, to harm yourself with the sword of the spirit. Because that's your offensive weapon. Every other armor are defensive. Uh, the only one uh, that is used for offensive against the enemy. The first one would defend you against the fairy that against the attacker. But this one will make sure that the enemy is put down. You push them back. You cut them down with your hammer. So take on the sword of the spirit. Ham with your sword today. Just want to encourage you. Now, the sword symbolizes power. Uh, you know you have power over over principalities uh, over spiritual ruler wickedness uh, over every principality you have the power use yours now today uh, take on that sword uh, and uh, the sword uh, is also for protection uh, uh, the roman army uh, uh, as they also use it for offensive they also use it to defend uh, sometimes when they are trying to strike them they use it for protection uh, and you have the authority in the world of God, uh, which is a sword of uh, the Spirit, the Word of God, uh, and Jesus is the Word uh, from uh, from <coughs> Jesus is the Word of God, and you have the strength of the Holy Spirit to do this, and then you need courage, courage to move. Curry to move, uh, curry to declare assault uh, against uh, the army of the enemy. Uh, I use your sword today. Uh, hey, 
what we are trying to do is to get you moving. Do not stay in the place of weakness. Do not stay in the place of defeat. It is time to move on. The sword also symbolizes warfare. It's a time. Uh, the song we just listened to, it said the army rising up. <laughs> to break out the chain, you are the hammer. Uh, you are going to war as long as you are a child of God. Uh, you are an hammer in the kingdom of God, uh, and so take out your sword uh, and begin to use it, uh, which is the word of God. Um, I tell you, what, there are different kinds of sword. There is a more fearsome sword, uh, the sword of judgment. You don't want to have that upon you because that comes from God. Uh, but we can judge the enemy. We can judge the power of darkness uh, with that sword of judgment. Now, what are we talking about? The sword of that offensive weapon uh, can be used also defensively, using both. Uh, but this time I want to encourage you to go for the offensive right now. Uh, we have uh, both the Logos Word of God, uh, that written word, uh, that written word uh, that have been put there in the Bible. Uh, and Jesus is the word, uh, John 1.1. 1, 1. Uh, and you also have the Rhema. Now, how do you use the rhema? That rhema is the God was spoken to you personally. Uh, that God word, uh, when you are reading the Bible, the one that jump at you, the one uh, that you cannot get away with, uh, that keep on showing up. Uh, that is the word you need. Uh, and look it up even if you don't know the full meaning of it. Uh, you have concordance, uh, the sayings of God, uh, the rhema of God, uh, which is what I'm encouraging you to use today. Uh, use it uh, against the enemy. Use it, use it, use it, use it. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 tells us that. Uh, it says, for the word of God is alive, uh, is active, uh, is powerful. Uh, that word of God is quick. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. See, two-edged sword. Once you use it, it can begin to, uh, to become less sharp and less sharp but with the word of god the more you use it it becomes sharper and sharper and it can pierce through dividing asunder of soul when preaching is going on the word of god is like an arrow it's like a sword piercing to the heart convicting the people ah so use the word against every power every spirit everything that come at you and uh, it can break through every joint and marrow. And it's a designer of the turds and intents of the earth. So when people are thinking, strengthening about you or looking to attack you, what well, you find is that sometimes the word of God will come to you. And as you declare that word of God, uh, it begins to tell you that which uh, the enemy is planning. Uh, and you know no weapon the enemy fashion against you shall prosper. Because you had the word of God in your mouth. Huh? So the spiritual word, the spiritual sword. So what does it do? Matthew says in Matthew chapter 4, we got an example how to use it. Huh? It says uh, in verse 1 to 11, it says that the sword of the spirit uh, disarmed Satan when he came to tempt Jesus. Huh? Jesus used the word, the sword of the spirit. Satan tried to tempt Jesus with the loss of the flesh and the loss of the eye and the pride of life. Out of all that, Jesus defeated Satan with the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. So, memorize the Word of God. Actively use it. Use the sword in proper context. Also, Use it appropriately. Allow the Holy Spirit to help you in using it. Let's conclude this. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we've asked that Father Lord that equip us on how to use the sword appropriately. Let our eyes of understanding be enlightened. Oh, let magnify the word unto our heart to use to combat all the whiny tricks of the enemy. Father Lord, today we live in total victory as we use your word. Father, we thank you, Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Father Lord, as we worship for this word to perform it. Uh, listener, don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, and share, and like this. 
because it will be helpful to others. Thank you.